Welcome to another court side with Billy Hahn here at the Green Turtle. I must have a great thing every Wednesday night that I do this show. It's either snowing, raining, sleet, freezing rain, something. I bring the best out in the weather. I mean, I swear Mother Nature, I said this before, I swear Mother Nature is bipolar because she can't figure it out. <laughs> you know, 60 degrees one week and snow and freezing the, 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 the other week. So I think she's bipolar. She hasn't figured it out. Uh, it's a great day to be alive. Count your blessings. That's what I always say. Today, I, I, it's sort of special to me because today is my wife's ninth birthday. Nine? What do you mean nine, coach? Nine birthdays. Yeah, she's getting all these birthday cards today. Happy ninth birthday. Well, it was nine years today that my wife had her bone marrow transplant here in Ruby Hospital for her leukemia. Her transplant came from a woman in Germany. It was a perfect match. Think about that as a miracle. From a woman in Germany, they flew the bone marrow from Germany right into Morgantown. At 11 o'clock at night, I was in the room with her and my daughter, Ashley, and we watched... Think, everybody thinks it's a big surgery. It's not a surgery. It's it's actually through a drip. They drip. It's hooked, you're hooked up to an IV, and the bone marrow is dripped through your system. And it takes 90 days, 90 days after the transplant, to see if the tr transplant will take to you, to her body, in which it did. But we were in the hospital for 90 days, so that was a that was quite a quite of uh, interesting thing. <laughs> But anyway, that's all I, today's a great day to be alive. We count all your blessings. It's really good to have that. Now, my special guest tonight. <laughs> I really lucked out this week. I was saying, who can I bring to my show on Wednesday night? And uh, I was trying to get Andy Kettler, our strength and conditioning coach. He says, coach, he says, I told you. He said, Wednesday night's a bad night for me. He says, my, daughter, my daughter's got this class I always got to take her to and so he says, I, Wednesday night is not good. I said, well, i gotta, I got to scramble and find somebody. So I kept on walking around, and I walk into the practice facility on the court, and there's my man, KJ. I go, oh, boy. Just what I right. Kevin Jones, yeah, give him a big hand, please. Right. Kevin Jones uh, from Mount Vernon, New York, uh, came here. And, Kevin, you didn't start your freshman year, did you? No. I but you didn't. played like 18, 19 minutes a game, right? Yeah, I, wanted to say I, was, I was the first one off the bench. That's what, what, exactly. And then, sophomore, junior, senior year, you just took off. Yeah. And you started every game. Yeah. Took us to the promised land a little bit. And, Kevin, you uh, broke all the school records in offensive rebounds, correct? Yeah. Yes. And matter of fact, your senior year, Kevin was a unanimous pick, first big team, Big East player, and he was an honorable and honorable All American, right? Nationally, yes. Yes. Or did, you make, did you make first or second team? I think I made um, second team. Second, second team? team, yeah. Not too shabby for, too for yeah. a little guy out of. Mount New York City, Mount yeah. Mount Vernon, right? Yeah. Hey, is that right. Coach, what's his name still coaching there? Coach Amino, yeah. Is, is he still there? Yeah, he just got his 500th victory uh, a couple of days ago. So that's He's a good coach, man. Really good coach. That guy, that guy, you guys won a lot of games. You won the state championship that year? Twice. Senior? Twice? We won twice, yeah, yeah while well, I was there. And another good thing about tonight is this summer, August, right? Yeah. Oh, this past August. You took that big step down that aisle. Yeah. And your lovely wife, Brittany, is sitting right here. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany, uh, Brittany's really good because uh, when Kevin gets his pro, uh, pro contract and he goes across the country and he plays, he was just gone for what? He had a two month contract? Two months, yeah. Two month contract guarantee because the team you played for. Was uh, somebody was injured and you sort of filled in for that person? Yep. And they told you it was going to be a two-month deal. Yeah, it was a two-month deal, and they had the option to extend if they wanted to. And where exactly was that? It was in Spain. Uh, Spain? A team called uh, Basconia. 
right? The Euro League team, so uh, highest level. Euro. Highest level. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty good. Was pretty it a good, good spot to live in? I had a great experience. Was there, it good? For sure. Really. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? They they didn't keep you there after two months, which they told you. So now, what are you waiting for? What's it look like now for you? What's what's going to happen? Well, uh, the situation there, they wanted to keep me for another month, but they wanted to keep me on a month-by-month -month contract when I wanted to sign for the rest of the season. So it's just something I wasn't comfortable with. So right. I left the situation, and um, I played well there. So uh, I knew that I can get on another situation somewhere where somebody wanted to sign me for the rest of the season. So right now I'm in the process of trying to find that team. Let's uh, – I want to take you from – when you graduated okay. from WVU, and tell our, our listeners out here at the Green Turtle and our viewers, this is on the, on, the, on the podcast tomorrow on the Dominion.com, it goes on about, they put it on the, they put it on the air about noon or 2 o'clock, mm -hmm. so you can, everybody can check it, and you can, you can even watch it, you can have Brittany watch it, you right. know, so I she, will. and give us, give us and tell us step by step from the time you left WVU mm -hmm. to where you are at this time. Oh, it's, it's a long, it's a long time. Uh, yeah, I've been out of school for <laughs> five years now. Yeah, it's it's yeah. hard to, it's crazy to uh, think about that. But um, okay, so after my senior year, I did all the um, NBA workouts with NBA teams, uh, went to the draft, went undrafted. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers asked me to do summer league with them. Right. Um, unfortunately, I, I couldn't do it. I got hurt during the summer, actually. I, I um, had a stress fracture in my foot, right. so I wasn't able to play summer league. But um, I was able to do training camp with the Cavaliers. Um, made it all the way to the last week. They, um, they cut me. They waved me. And then I played for uh, um, Canton Charge, which was their D-League team. That's their D-League team yeah. in Canton, Ohio. Canton, Ohio, yeah. Right. Mike Yanzi was the general manager oh, okay. of the... Mike Yanzi's the yes. general manager for the, for the for Charge, the, huh? Yeah, for the Charge, Is he yeah. still doing that, or I'm, is he in the front office? I think he's in the front office of the Cavs now. I think he moved to the front office. Yeah, the, yeah, so right. good for him. He deserves so it. So how long were you with the Charge? I was with the Charge. Um, the first time, uh, I played a couple games with them, did really well, got called up to the Cavs. Right. They kept me for the rest of the season right so um i played the rest of the season with the Cavs. next summer i played um also played with the canton charge right. and um from there i actually ended up going to the philippines oh, okay. for a couple months for two or three months to the philippines to the philippines to play out there in the in, right. uh, philippines league so right. after, after that happened um I played summer league with the Indiana Pacers, right? And um, did really well. Played with them, right? And then um, I actually got a contract to play in France. Go ahead. Played in France for a couple months. Um, played summer league again, so uh, three straight years of summer league. All right. And then after that, um, I played in Serbia for a team named Partizan, which to that date was my biggest deal overseas. That was the biggest deal. That was the biggest deal overseas right. to that point. And then um, from Partizan, I ended up playing um, for a team in Russia this last year right. uh, named Locomotive, which was really good, well-known in Europe. Right. And right. then um, that brought me all the way to uh, this season where um, I, uh, I didn't do summer league or anything like that, right. just right. waiting for a deal. And then um, I actually went to Spain uh, in November, end of November, yeah. and then up to here now. Boy, you've had a, you've had a lot of travel, haven't you? A lot you've of been travel. a lot of places. Yeah, you could. I could almost call you a, a world league type guy now, huh? I I like to consider not, myself that. Not, not, not bad from a guy from New York City, right? Yeah. Not bad, not bad from a guy at Mount Vernon. Yeah. The no. journey that you've had is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. The travel you've had is a pretty amazing. Yeah. But anyway, Britt. Brett, you don't go with him when he, when, he, when he goes overseas, do you? Brittany? Sometimes? Yeah, most of the time she goes with me. <laughs> like, maybe uh, I'll go like a month or two before her just to fill everything out, right. get everything situated, and then she'll... Well, you need, that, you need that, that woman type yeah, way, you know? For that, sure. Got to have that woman touch on where to live and yeah, how to exactly. do things, right? She, right? she takes care of me. What's your, uh, what's, what's your favorite... What's the favorite place you went or the be most beautiful or was really cool and really had a good time, really liked it overseas? Um, 
just in general or a place I played at? Just general. Just in general. Yeah. Um, I really like Spain. Yeah. Uh, if I've I could get back, yeah. If I if Spain? I can't, yeah. If yeah. I can't do the NBA again, I would definitely like to play in Spain. Um, just like the vibe there, culture, gotcha. uh, weather was nice. The places there were pretty nice. So, right, right. Spain is. Was Let me ask good. this: uh, Where was the place where you did that rap? You did a, <laughs> you did a you did a rap thing, in some country. What country was that? And you did it. You, you did it in their language. Yeah. How the heck did you do that? How did you learn how to speak that language so fast? And where where was it first? I was in Russia. That was last season. You, that was last that season. That was last season. You were in I was Russia. In Russia. And um, pretty much it was a it was a charity thing. So um, right. the team uh, had to. They were doing a fundraiser, and they wanted to do. A, they had an idea about a rap or a love song. And they asked me to do it. Right. And I was like, all right, cool. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know how to speak Russian, but okay, I'll try. So I literally, for the next three weeks, every day after practice, had to right. sit there with somebody and practice the words right. and how to say it. And right. it was, yeah, it was tough. I tell you what, it, it, tur it turned out really good. Oh, uh, yeah, I was I watched surprised. The, I've watched the video. Mm -hmm, I was surprised. It's unbelievable. I was, I was surprised it came out that good. That, it, it, that was, for, the, yeah. for everybody out there. You ought to see this. It's it, it's it's absolutely spectacular that he has this video out and he and he raps in their language and they're going through these fields and everything. Mm -hmm. It's the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life. Britt was in the video. Brittany was in the video. Mm -hmm. She was in there too. Yeah. Now, how could our how could our viewers and our listeners? Is there any way they could get that on? Is that can you get that on YouTube? <laughs> I mean, or I usually you, don't tell people. I, I want to know. I want to tell the information. Yeah, but, let's uh, get it out there. Let's no, get. but uh, it's on. It's on YouTube. It's I on guess YouTube? you can just. I don't know exactly what you write down, but um, right. you could just put a uh, Kevin Jones Rus Russian, yeah, Russian rap video. Kevin Jones. It, yeah, I think Kevin Jones Russian rap. Yeah, if you if you guys I can, I can, a, I can remember that. Have but a I've, good I've laugh. seen it, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, when it first came out, Kevin. When it first came out, my wife and I watched, and I go, I go to my wife. I said, Kathy. Are you look at look at this? I mean, I was we're sitting there going like, couldn't believe how well you did and using their language. I was I, I was sitting there like, my mouth is like. <laughs> it took jaw, a lot of practice. I, I know it did. Practice, yeah. Well, you did a great job with Thank that, you. I man. Appreciate it. I great appreciate job. It. Who was uh when you played for the Cavs? Mm -hmm. Who was the coach for the Cavs? Byron Scott. Byron Scott, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And. Was LeBron there? No, this was unfortunately not. Going to happen. <laughs> uh, but this was like a, I think I want to say two, two or three years before, before he came back. Before LeBron yeah, came back. Yeah, we were still young. This was um, Kyrie's Kyrie Irving's second year there. Okay, you were you with Kyrie? Kyrie, for, Tristan I got you. Thompson, yeah, uh, Dion Waiters, Tyler Zeller. Right. Yeah, we were all uh, decent team getting ready for the big next big splash. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we were very young, very right. young team. So. Right. Um, yeah, we, we didn't do too well, but that, that experience was, that was, was good great. For Cleveland, you, huh? yeah, I like I like being in Cleveland. We had a good time. Now let me. How many how many agents have you have you had? I've only uh well now I have a new agent, but right. uh, in the past I only had one agent. I don't I'm not the kind of person I like to skip from agent to agent. Right. If, I, if I go with somebody, it's because I trust them. You trust them enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I know your brother. Your brother, when you were at WVU, your brother. He came and lived in Morgan Down. He mm -hmm. was a big, seemed like to me he was a big help and a big For sure. influence on your life and like sort of kept you level-headed sure. and kept you on the right track. Am I, am I correct saying yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Him. Just him moving down here with me was, uh, was just a big step for me, just giving me that... Um, that that home feel and uh, just making sure I was okay and uh, make sure I was enjoying myself, but not too much and staying focused on right on playing. So he he did a great job. Right. With that. Brothers and sisters. I have uh, yeah older brother and older sister. Yeah. Older brother and older sister. Mm -hmm. Still stay in touch with them. Oh yeah, for sure. We we always talk. He's got a him. very tight family. Yeah, don't you? very tight. Yeah. Always have. We, now yeah. you and Brittany. In the summertime, you guys always you you stay in Morgantown. You got a place here in Morgantown. Yeah. You bought a place. Or? Yeah. I actually bought a uh, bought a place from um, Coach Calhoun. Coach Calhoun's old. Oh place. really? Yeah. You brought, you, mm -hmm. you bought 
Coach Calhoun, Calhoun who went to Fairmont. Yeah, yeah, who went to Fairmont. And I was at Youngstown mm-hmm. State. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you so, bought his whole place. Yeah, huh? because I knew that uh, just being here during the summer, uh, pretty much all of us from the uh, 2010 team yep. was here during the summer working out at the practice facility, uh, like pushing each other and, um, and uh, working out together. So it, it just was only right to get a place here. It's been really good for you guys to come back in the summertime. Yeah. And, and all you guys always come back in the summertime. Yeah. And it's good for our kids to see you guys, mm-hmm. how hard you guys work out in the summertime in, in your off season, how you guys come to the gym every day. Mm-hmm. And like, you guys, are, you guys always have that same routine every day. Mm-hmm. And it's usually you and Truck mm-hmm. and uh, Alex Ruoff. Mm-hmm. Who am I leaving out? John Flowers. John Flowers, Deshaun. Deshaun Butler. Yeah, uh, and then, you know. Some, usually, yeah, sometimes Devin Ebanks. Yeah, yeah. Comes, not he, very often. Yeah, not very often. But he comes around a little bit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's an unbelievable so, thing. And right. I think you appreciate the fact that, one, Coach Huggins opens the doors for you guys. That's crazy. He's, crazy. he's like unbelievable. He's like crazy. so loyal to his former players. And you guys have such a good relationship with him. Yeah. And it's so good that he opens the doors to you guys. Matter of fact, they, uh, I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen it because I retired. Mm. But don't they have a locker room for you guys now? A locker room for Coach us. Coach Huggins. It's, it's crazy. All he, he, he added on to the, to the locker room for you guys. Because believe it or not, when the practice facility was built, we had the locker room for our team. And the, there was a locker room for the women's team on the other side of the building. But believe it or not, and we had a coach, we had a little coach's locker room, but we never had a locker room for like former players. So Coach Huggins expanded a little bit on the locker room, and now he's built a locker room for you guys as well, right? Yes, I mean, it's already, well, actually, it's a part of the, part of the coaching coaches, locker room. Right, so, right. but it, uh, like on the, on the walls, it has um, a lot of our pictures, it does? Like the older guys' pictures on the wall and on the lockers. I have my own locker. So really? It's, it, it's crazy, man, how much he looks out. It's, yeah, it's I've, got to, I've got to go in there and look at that. I haven't yeah, seen it. It's, it's really nice, it's huh? It's nice. It's nice. But Coach Huggins, you can tell everybody a little bit about this. Uh, going through four years with him, mm. he's a hard coach to play for, isn't he? Hard, but hard coach. with his toughness, creates toughness in each player. For sure. And... He's the most loyal guy ever. Yes, true. If you work hard and you stay in the gym and you work on your game Mm -hmm. and you gain his respect, Mm -hmm. you're not going to find a a more loyal guy and find a guy that's better to play for than him. For sure. And and that was that was one of the reasons why I decided to come here uh, because he wasn't like other coaches who guaranteed you something, guaranteed you a spot. He said, you, "Listen, you come in here, you work hard. You're gonna get, you're gonna get what you deserve. Right. So, you, if you don't work hard, you're not gonna get playing time. But if you do, I guarantee we'll, you'll, we'll find a spot here for you. So, I, I respected that so much, and it was so different from everything else I was hearing right. from coaches. So, but he can be, he can be, he can be tough on you guys, can not yeah. yeah. You know what? I think Kevin Jones is the only guy I, was, I coached here for ten years." And we have those treadmills. Coach Huggins likes to send guys to the treadmill when they don't do something in, in, in the right way. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe KJ went all four years with never being sent to the treadmill, correct? I wish. I wish, huh? that, I wish that was the did case. Did you go now. on the treadmill? Yeah, actually. I didn't think you did. My, my senior year, I don't think I went on the treadmill. Okay, but exactly. my, in the in the beginning, right. I was going to the treadmill a lot. <laughs> me, uh, <laughs> me, truck, Devin, we were oh, like the freshmen. We were going to the treadmill a lot. But I think like as the years kept going on, it kept on getting lower and lower. Right. Sophomore year, not that much. Junior year, and then senior year, I don't think senior I went on Senior year, you never went on the treadmill. On That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. So but I do remember the freshman year. Now that you talk about it, it's crazy. Especially my man, tr- uh-huh. my, my, my man, truck. Yeah. Truck was always on that treadmill. We were. It was like a. It was like a rotating yeah. circle. Like every, you go <laughs> go in the drill, go in the treadmill, go in the drill. It was the three knuckleheads from New York City. <laughs> yeah. For sure. All right. Let me ask you this. Uh, maybe everybody would like to hear this. Do you have anything in your mind that's 
sort of funny or you always remember about Bob Huggins, maybe in the locker room or maybe at a practice or maybe during a timeout during a game? Huh. I mean, you could tell. Yeah, we yeah, could tell yeah. The, we could tell stories out of school. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Go back and give me well, a couple. The, <laughs> give me a well, one. The, the one that sticks out in my mind, and you, I don't know if you remember, but I, I definitely remember Go it. Ahead. Was, um, and I tell people this, uh, is my freshman year, we're in the NCAA tournament, and um, I'm, I'm sick. Like, I'm not feeling too well. But I don't tell him that I'm sick. Right, right. You, you know, can't tell you, don't, you can't tell him. No, you never tell that. So I, I tell one of the, uh, our assistant coach, Coach Martin, my guy, right. who, who helped get me here. Right. So I'm like, Coach, I'm not feeling too well. Like, you know, like this game. He's like, don't worry about it, Kev. Just, you know, just play it out and then just give us what you can, whatever, right? Right, right. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we're in halftime, right? We're losing. to We're playing Dayton. We're losing in Dayton. NCAA tournament? NCAA tournament. Go ahead, yeah. And um, we get in the locker room and he's – He's just, he's killing everybody. He's yeah. talking about what everybody's doing. And then he finally gets to me, and he's like, and KJ doesn't want to play because KJ has the sniffles. He doesn't want to play. He he's got care. the sniffles. Yeah, he's got the sniffles. And, and he's just killing me because I didn't even tell him that I was sick. I told so, the assistant coach that I was so sick. So Coach Martin, by the way, he yeah, must, he, he, he must have he he ratted on you. Bro. I don't think he ratted on me. He yeah. had to say something. He, he said just, something, yeah, exactly. mentioned it. But, yeah, that was one of the things that stuck out in my mind. It was <laughs> funny. You guys, you know, it's funny when all you guys come back in the summertime. Uh -huh. Just to sit, or just sit down with you guys when you guys are done working out and everything. Uh -huh. You guys, we just sit around and sort of just have a good joke time around, have a good time. Yeah. Listen to you guys, former players. That's when the stories come out, man. Oh, yeah, That's where sure. everybody tells a story about Coach Huggins, or tells a story about me. <laughs> tells a story about <laughs> Coach Harrison. Tells a story about Coach Martin. And you guys are hilarious oh, to listen to, man. It's That's crazy. fun. Yeah, it's, it's it's always good to come back and um because you don't you don't think it's too funny at the time because it's <laughs> happening to you, but yeah. after you look back at it, absolutely. it's like yeah, this this is really funny. Like a absolutely. Yeah. Uh, how much have you seen our team play? I've seen I mean, a lot. You, and you, you were around, obviously saw of our guys. Yeah. Always work out in the summertime because yeah. you're always around and they're around. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to go through our team okay. individually okay. and get Kevin Jones's reaction and thought okay. to our players. So let's go. Okay. Let's go with our two seniors first. Uh -huh. Let's go with Daxter Miles first. Give me your, give me a little analysis, uh, your opinion mm -hmm. on Dax. I like Dax, man. He's he's tough. Uh, four years, four year guy. Been here a while. He knows what he's doing. Has a lot of experience. Him and um, JC in the in the backcourt. Um, he kind of up and down guy. You know, he's he's right. really high sometimes, and then sometimes he's, he he can go to the low. But like when he's at his when he's at his high, man, he's he's, he's pretty pretty good. He's pretty, sure pretty good, man. Yeah. He can compete with anybody right. on both ends of the floor. So uh, yeah, Dax. I just like his swagger. He has a lot of swagger. Uh, feels comfortable out there on the court. Has a lot of experience, so definitely good. He's player. got he's got a toughness to him. Yeah, that for he, sure. That he does. For he's sure. got a pretty tough kid. Yeah, he's 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 pretty reliable too. He's he's made some um, big moments yes. and sure big has. plays and big moments. So sure has. Yeah. All right. How about uh, Javon Carter? Improved so much since freshman year. He's he's it's definitely amazing, yeah. yeah he's turned himself into a pro. I think I think he's. You a think pro. he's a pro, Kevin? I think he's a pro. So like, do I. Yeah, he's, it's just all about him getting the right opportunity. Right. And um, yeah, I I think he's improved so much. Not only uh, well defensively, he's always been right. very good, but right. offensively, he, he stepped it up, and I've seen him work so hard this summer right. and he he deserves everything he's he's getting right now well he lives in the gym doesn't yeah he? for sure and I, I respect that that guy gets in the gym all the time yeah. makes all kinds of shots i respect that all right let's move on let's go let's talk about lamont west lamont west now, Funny that you, guy. now that you've known him yeah you've seen him come in from his freshman year yeah until now he is a funny dude. Yeah, he's funny. funny go ahead guy. go ahead uh yeah lamont has is also somebody that's improved so much um he when I first met him, um, it didn't seem like he really took things seriously, like you know, sort of immature. Yeah, kind of <laughs> immature, yeah. but at it, but at the same at the time, he he was pretty young too, coming into right, college. Right, he was very so, young, and he didn't have yeah. that experience of going through Coach Huggins' program in a right. year. Or so so um, he's improved a lot as well. Like has some muscle on him now. 
can shoot the ball really well. He has a lot of talent. So I think he, he's helping out a lot this year. I, I think he's pretty good. Boy, he was on fire the other night. I don't know if you watched that game. Yeah, he made, I did. He made his first three, first five. Five, yeah. He made five threes he in was a row. On fire, yeah. And just missed his sixth one. He would have had six in a row. It's crazy. He's been a big time shooting slump. And, you know, we won two games in a row mm -hmm. because he wasn't shooting the ball real well. Not only him, but our whole team wasn't shooting yeah. the ball well. And he comes in the other night and bam, 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 five threes in a row. It's mm -hmm. off, to, guys, off to a good start. Yeah. All right, how about uh, James Beetle Bolden? James Beetle. Beetle. Beetle Bolden. Beetle. I think he, he's, he's the unsung hero of this, of this season thank so you far. Very, thank you very much. For sure. He's yeah. an unsung hero. Uh, he, does all, he does a lot of the dirty work. He, um, he, he makes the open shots. He guards the, the toughest guards. He does a real good job getting in front of them, getting charges. Yeah, he takes a lot of charges, and, um, doesn't he? Yeah, he takes a lot of charge. He does a lot of stuff that, that doesn't come up in, in the stat sheet but helps them win. Right. So I think he's unsung hero this year. And there's another sure. kid that when he first got here, mm -hmm. compared to now, yeah. learning how tough you have to mm -hmm. be, he's gathered, he's, he's become such a tougher, yeah. tougher and hard-nosed individual mm -hmm. on the floor. Yeah. You know, because his freshman year, his first year, I mean, he just didn't understand yeah. How hard how hard it is, yeah. and how tough you gotta be. You know how tough you gotta be. Yeah. But I tell you what, he's learning now. Yeah, yeah, he is. All right, let's talk a little bit about our boy Sags. Sags. Uh, yeah, Beast. let's give Sags yeah. a hand, huh? Right. My boy Sags been playing, man. Beast. The blockinator. Beast. I call him a blockinator. He's a beast, man. I, I I don't think I've seen somebody in college that. Block shots like it's I, amazing, isn't it's it? Hard, it's hard. <laughs> I've hardly seen people in the NBA that block shots like that. So yeah, just how how he and he's not afraid. That's why that's the one thing I like about him. He's not afraid to get dunked on. Okay, like right. I like we were talking earlier. I seen him in the um, training room. I'm like, as long as you block as many shots as times you get dunked on, like that's that's a good shot blocker to me. Right. Like, you you go after everything, no matter no matter what it is, and that puts fear in people's hearts. At the end of the day. If you're if you're getting everything, that's that's imposing. So I, I think he's also a guy that's improved a lot, and he's worked on. It seems like he's worked on his mid-range game, right. post game. A lot better, right? Yeah, a lot better. So I thought I piece. thought uh, I thought Monday night. I thought he showed for the first time a couple inside moves. Like up and up and unders. I was surprised. I mean, he made that one move. I'm going, oh my gosh. I was surprised. I was and that's surprised. all. I watched the game and I saw him make that move. Mm -hmm. That's all individual That's big individual man work. instruction sure. from Coach, Coach Martin, Martin. Always has you big guys. Exactly. Coach well, Martin. That's when it, that comes down there. Yeah. That's where you guys learn those moves, right? Yeah. And uh, and um, they gave him a shout out on ESPN too, Coach you Martin. Know, I, I did. I, I saw was like, that. that's the first time because Absolutely. he. I feel like he doesn't get enough credit that he yeah. he deserves on his his part getting the big men ready. So. That, that was big to hear for, for him. It was great. It was yeah. great to see Coach Martin getting that. Yeah. They, they zeroed the cameras mm -hmm. on him. And they talked about him for, you know, a, a minute or two. And that was great for Coach Martin. Because you know what? Coach Martin has no ego. Mm -hmm. Coach Martin doesn't get a whole lot of credit. No. Uh -huh. And it's because he's so quiet in his demeanor. Mm hmm and he doesn't like to draw any kind of attention to himself. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why a lot of people don't know about Coach yeah. Martin. See, I, I personally think, and Coach Martin was the guy that recruited you, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And he has a way of, he has a way of the kids that he recruits. He has a way of those kids to trust him. Mm -hmm. and, he, and Coach Martin also has a great ability for the, for the kids' family the family loves Coach Martin. Oh, yeah, for they, sure. My family, fall, my family right? loves They Coach love him, Martin. right? Yeah, they love Coach Martin. Yeah. They love the guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a dang good guy. Uh, let's see. Who am I going to go to next? Who am I missing? Help me out until I get to the freshman. Uh, I don't want to get the new guys yet. Uh, am I missing Issa? somebody? Issa. Yeah, give me uh, about Issa. Issa. Uh, talent, man. I, I think he's the most talented guy on the team. Right. Uh, just as far as everything, his his ability. Um, I don't. 
and I don't know if he knows how talented he is, but he he can be a, he can be a pro like if he, he, if he, he sh- wants he, to. He showed it the other night on that on that shot fake, one dribble, and slam dunk in your face. Yeah, that was unbelievable, and it happened so quick. It's crazy, yeah. Boom. But but I wasn't surprised by it right. because I I right. me and Truck actually we worked out with them during the preseason because some of their guys were injured. Coach helped us, asked us to help him help right, him out. Right, right. So this is all the stuff I've I've seen I was seeing in um right in uh, preseason practices and he he could do that all the time. Right. It's just up to him to decide when he when he wants to do that full time. And it, I mean, you can't stop. Have him. you ever have you ever seen a player that has bigger hands than that guy? No, actually, I never noticed his hands. Oh my God, I his never hands. noticed his hands really. His hands but, are unbelievable. Yeah, I never really noticed his hands, but I I, I know that. He, for me, he, he can do everything. He, right. he can shoot the ball. He can drive to the basket. He's athletic. I right. mean, he, yeah. he has everything you would want. It's just the fact of him using it as much as, as he can. It seems like to me, Kevin, that he just hasn't totally turned that stri- switch on. All the, That switch comes and it goes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he'll learn this or not, but if he would ever get it, and understand that you've got to have that switch on mm. all the time. Mm-hmm. It, it could be frightening. Sky's the limit. It, could, it could be. It could be scary, right? Yeah, sky's, sky's the limit. For Unbelievable, him. right? I, I think. I think also him. Him being, um, you know, him being out for so many games. Right. I think he's just now also getting his rhythm back. So that that can I, I, that can hurt too. Sort of looks that way. Yeah. Right? I, so. I think now he's getting into a better rhythm and um, he's getting used to the game and. Right. He, he can do it all, all the time. All right, let me, uh, let's go to the newcomers. Okay. Let's go to, uh, well, the, not the newcomers. What, we know what we forgot, Chase Harler as well. Chase. He's, a, he's back. Yeah. Tell me about Chase in your mind, in your opinion. You, you play with these guys all the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, really good shooter. Right. Um, I, I don't know if he's, um, if he's comfortable in the, yeah. in the offense yet. I think he's still trying to find his way, like right. his, his niche. In the in the program in the offense, but when he comes in, it seems like he brings a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, he hits the open shot, and uh, you know that's all you can ask for for a guy that you know comes in. He he gives them all they have, right. all he has for the the minutes he comes in. So. Before we move on to the new guys, Kevin, being around our team and practicing with our team. Mm-hmm. We really are a team, aren't we? I mean, they like each other, don't yeah. they? There's very, there's very good chemistry yeah. on our basketball team. Don't you, don't you think that's I get, true? I get that vibe. I right. definitely get that vibe, and, I, and that's the, I think that's the most important part. At first, is coming together and guys liking each other and, and trusting each other and you know actually, actually being able to you know coexist together. I think that's big. So yeah. I definitely see that. All right, let's go to our new guys this year. Let's talk about. Well, he's not really new. He's sort of been around too. Big fella Logan Rout, Logan. who came in the other night Man. and gave us big time minutes. Hey, that was big. He, 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 he gave five minutes the other Man. night. He was unbelievable. Hey. Talk hey. about Logan Rout a little Logan. bit. What you've seen from start to finish it's right now. Well, he's not finished. Yeah. But where he's at right now. It's crazy. I, I'm, I'm happy for Logan because he, he worked uh, pretty hard from what I've seen over the summer. And, um, you know, you know he's gonna. You know Sag is Sags is gonna get most of the minutes, <laughs> yeah. but you know, uh, in the beginning, I I just said to to you know everybody that he just needs to come in, four rebounds, two points. That's right. that's a great game for him for the time he, he comes in. Four points, four rebounds. That's, ex- that's excellent. Big time. That's big time for it. get that little, uh, little give Sags some absolutely. rest. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, he he's been doing that. He's been like I said, just like Chase coming in and contributing for the minutes he's getting. So right. I, I think he's doing a really good job. Well, I'll tell you what. I thought when he came in the other night, he gave us a big spark. For sure. And those were quality, critical minutes. Yeah. At the time, Sags needed a little sit-down, a little rest. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought that was huge. For sure. Uh, how about Magic Bender? Magic. This is, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Magic. I'll tell I'll, you. I'll let you talk, no. and then I'll, then I'll tell what I heard. <laughs> Go ahead. Magic Bender. Magic. Man. What do you think? He's skilled. I, I, I don't know. Um, he's. I think. I feel like the way I've seen him play in like open gym when he's when he's first got here to the yeah. way I've seen him play in um in uh, games. I think he's just so hesitant sometimes. Yeah, that's what I think. He's too. so hesitant, and if he could just get 
that out of his mind because he's a good player. Like he's a way better player than what what he showed. He's talented. He's talented. He, he talent actually does. has I talent. Know he does. I know he does. It's just a mental block in his in his head. And if he can get past that mental block, he can really. Yeah, he could he be could, special, he right? Could be, he could be really really nobody, good. And I don't think anybody sees that behind that. the no, nobody sees Kelly. that behind the scene. But exactly. he really he really has talent. Nobody nobody believes when when I tell people. How talented he, he is. is! Talented, and you guys know how talented mm -hmm. he is. Matter of fact, this is what I can ask you guys in the summertime when you guys are back. Like you guys, when I was talking about you, sit around a little bit. You guys told you told you told us the Magic Bender. That that guy's for real. That guy's like the real deal. Mm -hmm. That guy can really play. Mm -hmm. And I try to tell people that you guys say that, and like they don't see it when he comes in the games. It's almost like to me looks like to me that he's doesn't have that enough confidence yeah, for sure. in himself. I, I tell him every time I see him, I tell him two things. I said, Magic, you need to take your nasty pills before you go to bed at night. Every night before you go to bed, take two nasty pills and get a little more nasty. That's the first thing I tell him. And then I say to him, Go in front of the mirror when you get home and look in the mirror and flex your muscles and say, I'm so good. I'm really good. I'm really good. He, you know, I think he's his worst enemy. Yeah. He don't yeah. believe in himself, no. Kevin. Uh -uh. I, and I think one thing also is that he, he's scared to make mistakes. You can't be scared to make yeah, mistakes. You, you got to go out there. If you're going to be out there, you're going to make mistakes. You got to go out there and play. And, you know, yeah. that's, that's not easy. That's something that I had to learn as well. Exactly. Like, if you're going to be out there, you can't be afraid to make mistakes. You got to go out and play. If you get taken out, be, get taken out because you were too aggressive. Get right. taken out because, you know, you, you made some aggressive foul. Like, don't get taken out for being passive. Exactly. So I, I think I say that. that's a great point. And I think... Coach Huggins, the way he coaches, mm -hmm. some guys get through that mm -hmm. quicker than other guys. Mm -hmm. But guys, there's some guys that it, it, it scares it's them. Tough. It's, it's tough. It's tough. And it scares them a little bit it's tough. to figure out how to get through. There's nothing worse as a player. It almost like, looks like two guys. Mm -hmm. It looks like magic. And Chase Harler, to me, those two guys just don't, you know, they just don't free their minds. Yeah. Free your mind. Free your mind. Don't care what, you know, sort of, yeah. you care what happens. Yeah, of course. But you can't play scared like exactly. you said. And I think both of those guys are very similar. Yeah. And, and it's easier said than done because right. it's, it's hard because you, you don't want to make mistakes because you want to be out on the court. Right. You want to get as much playing time as possible. But... For, for me, I, I rather I rather uh, sit down and because I was making a mistake trying to do something because I'm confident in it and because I know I can do it. You know what I mean? Like now, if you're doing something that you've never worked on, which Coach Hub <laughs> is big, like don't do something that we haven't worked on that you're not good at. I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying have confidence in what you know right, that you're right. good at, and and that's and that's what just needs to happen but Ma magic has a lot of talent that people haven't seen yet but i think as he goes on people will see it more and more gotcha yeah. uh, how about uh wesley harris the jugo kid West. this year who started to come in and sort of it started from day yeah. one because isa was suspended mm -hmm. and isa missed all those games yeah so west started from the get-go what do you think of him he's tough good yeah. good defender um you know um can make the occasional shot. I, th I think he needs to work a little bit more on his on his shooting, but I think that'll come with, with more time. But uh, he's he's a tough guy, man. He he gets deflections, has long arms, uh, makes makes the little plays, and um, I think what he has uh, two more years after this. Yes, year? yes. So I think yeah. as he goes on in the program, he'll right. get more used to everything. That's, that's he'll right. put some more weight on. Right. He'll become a, a, a better player. So I, I've been impressed by him so far for the position he's been put in, you know, trying to replace Issa for a little bit. I think I've got everybody except uh, I think the only guy I haven't talked about is, is D'Angelo. D'Angelo. D'Angelo Hunter, uh -huh. who's the other Jake Chuko kid. Yeah. Who, to me, hasn't figured anything out. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to knock the guy, but 
he just it's taken him longer to have everything sort of soak in and sort of understand what he needs to do. Yeah. He's in the gym all the time. Yeah, yeah. that's he's one thing I can't say. He's, he's constantly he's shooting all the time. But he just doesn't get it yet, does he? Yeah, and, it, and it's more, and sometimes it's more than just shooting in the gym. It's also, you know, just being prepared whenever it's your, your number's called, just right. being prepared, watching, you know, if maybe you're not getting on the court, maybe watching film. Right. And, um, you know, seeing where you can fit in that, seeing where you would be good at, at, at it's more than just getting in the gym sometimes. And I, I think he'll figure that out. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen him too much on the court, so it's hard right, to say on right. the court. But yeah. he he's been coming in a lot as far as like yep. working out and stuff. Yep. So yep. got to got to give him credit for that. Okay, I think we've been through every player now. We've talked about all this. Oh, I'm oh sorry. Teddy Buckets. Thank you very much, Teddy Buckets. Teddy Buckets. How can we forget Teddy Buckets? Talking about magic, te yeah, Teddy he, is the total opposite of what magic yeah, is. Chase Teddy Hunter, is. <laughs> talk about Chase Hunter and magic. Yeah, Teddy not is, having comments. Teddy is Teddy's the, the other way. Opposite. Teddy doesn't. He just he thinks he can. Teddy do anything. is the extreme opposite, but I I respect that about yeah, Teddy. He right. has no fear he has no of fear. anything, and that could be a good thing, and that could also <laughs> be a very very bad thing sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I I respect that man, and uh, Teddy's a gamer. He is. It yeah. seems like when he gets in, he, he loves he loves challenges. He's one of those guys that keeps both teams in the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Right. That's true. He, he, that's he, true. He scores three buckets, that, and his, boy, yeah. his man gets four buckets. It's crazy, man. Hey, that's true, man. But I tell you, man, I, I, and but he you had that same confidence he, since he's got here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. Never wavered. He's always yeah. been that confident. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen a freshman with so much yeah, confidence, confidence like, right? yeah you it's like he's been here four years yeah, already exactly but um yeah like i said i respect that he he was playing well I, um you know i don't know the situation why what happened with him getting yeah you know not not as much playing time right so far but um every time he's come in you know he's at least tried to make an impact and he's tried and like i said i can respect him because he was he sometimes he gets taken out for being too aggressive. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? So I would rather that than exactly, come out passive. Exactly. So, yeah. I know one thing. He seems like a. I, I think he's a funny dude he's too. Funny. The guy's got a great sense Teddy of humor. Teddy he's a comic book type of guy, man. Teddy is hilarious. Teddy is hilarious, Teddy is hilarious right? Hilarious, yeah. All right, I, that's everybody I got now. So let's put all these pieces together. Mm -hmm. uh, Issa sits off for 16 games. Mm -hmm. We win 15 games in a row. Now Issa becomes eligible. And we change the chemistry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Issa starts getting some minutes. Mm -hmm. We reach number two in the country. Everybody's talking about us. Uh, we lose, now we lose five out of six games. And everybody talks about what's wrong with the Mountaineers, what's wrong with the Mountaineers, what's going on. Everybody's... You know how it is, yeah, fans. They they start pointing fingers and yeah. they're saying we're not any good. And now yeah, they were saying they that. were saying. I heard. I even heard. I don't even know. The, I don't even know. Make the NIT now. I and I'm going. I don't understand I said it, that. So anyway, I don't, I don't get it. So we lose five out of six. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Now we just had back to back wins, mm -hmm. where now it seems like everybody's. Sort of jumping back on the bandwagon a little bit, you know. Of course, of course. Everybody's talking about how good we are. Of course. I think we have a chance. I think we got a chance to make some noise down the stretch. Do you, would you agree, Kevin? Of course. Of what course. do you think the keys are for us? I, I never understood the people jumping off the. I don't understand. Um, I I guess people expected you guys not to lose any yeah. any games at all. That's because of you guys. I, yeah. That's because of you guys. <laughs> but and what you guys did for us. Yeah. The expectations. Expectations are high, are and high. That's, and 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 that's good. Like it's not a bad thing. But at the same time, you right. can't. You, you gotta can't, be realistic. You got you got to be realistic, and also I don't think that though. I think those are more fair weather. Fair fans. weather. When fans. things are going good, then you guys are all good, and then. When things aren't going good, then everything's everything's over. But I think for most part, most Mountaineer fans aren't like most Mountaineer fans stick with 
stick, with, stick us with us through thick and thin. So through thick and thin. The people that don't, those are those aren't real fans. Those aren't the real fans. So um, I'm but, glad. I'm glad to hear you say that. Yeah, because that's how I feel. That's how, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, because it's, it's no way you can you know root for somebody at the at when they're high and then when they're low. Yeah, you, you just, dog them. Yeah, you, know, you just you dog them. Dogging, that's, right? that's not a real fan to me. But um, I think the the key is just uh, be aggressive, and um, I think during the losses, the the press Virginia, it no. People just weren't aggressive enough. Like yep. we, no, no, not a whole lot of energy. Yep. Good, uh, people, good the same steals that they were getting in the beginning, they weren't getting for whatever reason. I don't know why, but um, just went through just, that stretch where we lost yeah. a little of that edge. that edge, yeah, that little energy edge that we had, and we sort of lost that. And some sometimes that happens during the season. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes for whatever reason, the, the grind of the season, getting right. tired, the schedule. Right. You know, because you guys had a tough schedule. Yep. Tough travel, teams. Yep. travel. That's, Absolutely, that yep. weighs on people. But I think the 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 key part is just keeping that energy up every every uh, game, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. Just keeping that same energy. And you know the main guys got to keep on stepping up like they've been doing. Uh, JC, Dax, the seniors, right. just keeping everybody together through tough times. And I think you guys can can make it as so, far as you want to make so it. So do I think. Sure. I think. And then, as you well know, and I know. Once you get to the Big 12 tournament, and you, you go, you have that, which I think we we can easily not not easily, but I think we our chances are as good as anybody yeah, to win sure. that to win that thing. It's wide open. Then you go to the NCAA tournament, and as you know, Kevin, it's really like the bracket mm -hmm. and the team that you you draw. Uh -huh. Sort of, it's sort of. It all depends. Just, on your it, role it, it, that depends thing. it depends on the role yeah. that you get. Yeah, yeah. Like our final four year, I mean, it had things, a good, we were all in New York. Before, things, exactly we were right. All from New York, exactly so right. we, you know, that road, it, everything just shaped up to be, Unbelievable. you know, in our favor. So that that was great. It, yeah, that's what yeah. I think too. So, but I think I think we could do big things. I really do. I think this team has a chance to to finish up strong. We've uh, the last two games. That energy and that spark and that back. aggressiveness is sort of back. You know, yeah. it came, it, it, we sort of looks like we recaptured what we lost for f those five out of six games. We sort of recaptured it. And we were playing with that edge again the last two games. And you know what? So, sometimes you, sometimes you got to get hit in the mouth sometimes yeah, so, to, good, well, good to, point. to remind you, like, good point, there are other yeah. good teams out there, you good. know, and you can easily – this can easily be good point taken. Good. So sometimes that's maybe it was maybe it was the best thing to not not the best thing, but maybe it was a good thing to to happen that you go through that stretch. So now, how are you going to respond to it? Good point. I hope I hope everybody out there is listening because Kevin KJ makes some really really good points that all West Virginia fans should hear and understand through a player's eyes and through a player a former player and a pr perspective of how the players see it that people just can't they just don't understand what you go through in a season no. Kevin I mean I a t your full day is you start out with early in the morning with weights mm -hmm. conditioning with Andy Keller mm -hmm. then you go to class then you come in and you got a three hour practice then you get treatments afterwards then you're going to go home it's supposed to study. Yeah. Some, well, sometimes you, you have to go back to the Coliseum and, and, and uh, study, study with a tutor. Yeah, right, study with your tutor. So you're, you're pretty much yep. think, you're, you're pretty much up from 9 in the morning to 9 at night. It you doesn't get back stop. home. Like it doesn't stop. It's 12-hour People, hour people day. don't understand. It. I don't think everybody truly understands what a student athlete, especially in the main I, – I, I know it because of men's basketball – how much it takes and how much dedication it takes and how much discipline it takes i mean it's 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 like it's a fuck it's like a full time job yeah. from like early in the morning until you know at night when you go to sleep for sure for sure it's, and it, and it's tough and it and it weighs on you yeah. you know okay. um, it does weigh yeah and and sometimes you see you know sometimes you see people have a lack of energy it's because of 
other stuff that's happening off the court that you know it, right. it, com exactly. it compiles and piles up and you know some, it's, it's hard to get over that but once once you have once you've gotten over that and um you you get to a place where you become used to it or comfortable with it i think that's where uh the, the better players like get better they excel they don't understand this too kevin you made a good point that so you do the basketball thing all day long. And then you know you're a human being, everybody's a human being, and you might have some problems off the court. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're having a fight with your girlfriend. Yeah. Maybe you are having some academic difficulty in a subject. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just took a test, an exam, and didn't do good, mm -hmm. and you got the results back. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things wear on you yeah. besides the basketball. Sure. And those things, that's the reality of life. You're going to have personal things happen to you mm -hmm. off the basketball floor and away from basketball that actually affects, affects your mind, it affects how you feel as a person and what kind of spirit you have every day. I swear, it happens to me. Yeah. I mean, what kind of spirit you have every day? Sure. I mean, I mean that happens. Yeah, that's a, that's a real thing. Yeah. That's the real deal, yeah, right? That's a real thing. Yeah, people people don't understand that, but you know that's why I say like uh, if you're a student athlete, don't take the criticism too you know too harshly. You just got to keep on keep, keep on, on working out. Yeah, yeah, keep on plugging away, keep working because things will get better. You just have to some sometimes you have rough patches. So. Exactly. Yeah. I like to know your opinion a little bit because. I know how much everybody respects this guy and how much everybody loves this guy. Mm -hmm. But Andy Kettler, our strength and conditioning coach and our and our, our workout guy, that guy is really special, isn't he? He's, he's, t just tell everybody what you think, Kevin. He's, I mean, is the guy unreal? Man, un unreal. But the stuff he, he probably has to deal with more stuff than the, the coaches. Do. I know. He, the stuff that he has to deal with on a daily basis, and just to still be able to get everybody ready uh, preseason and um, during the uh, regular season to keep everybody in shape. Uh, he, he does a great job, um, one, of, one of the best in the country. And um, I, I don't think he, he's also a person I don't think gets talked about enough. Right. He, he does a great job. And um, one of the guys, when I come back, first guy I talk to, one of the I, first guys I talk to when I get back. It seems like everybody when they come back, yeah. the first guy they go to, one well, of the first guys I go to is Andy Kelly. Yeah. All, 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 all because, for everything. For every, for everything, and and the good thing about him, he doesn't, he doesn't, he cares about your basketball. But how, how's your family? How's this going? Right. You, you have a, you have a kid. How, how are they? Right. Like, it's, it's never really about basketball with him. It's, it's more than just basketball with him. So, Absolutely. Yeah, he, he's a special, special, he's special, special, for sure. I've tried to get him on my show, and uh, this is how Andy is as a, as a father. <laughs> Every Wednesday night, I said, you know, I usually do the show on Wednesday nights. Well, Wednesday night's a bad night for Andy yeah. because his daughter's got some kind of class mm -hmm. or something that his daughter has, mm -hmm. and Andy won't miss it. Andy's not going to miss his yeah. his family situation. Great dad, the, great a husband. great great dad, great husband. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a all, all around yeah. good guy, yeah. all around good. Guy. And boy, you talk about a family and somebody that went through a just a tragic, tragic life experience with his his baby his two-year-old mm -hmm. son yeah who uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere yeah gets brain cancer and you know passes away a two-year two-year-old kid I, i'm in the hospital i'm seeing this guy i'm going like why like why why does this happen yeah and like the setback but you know what andy andy andy's he never. He, he never stopped. He, he never stopped, stops. did he? He just he kept. Never it, he kept going, and he yeah. kept trying going to be positive. And, yeah, you know. you know, he's he's a rock. Yeah, he's a, he's sure. a rock. He's a rock for sure. Uh, so tell me, we got a couple minutes left. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for now? What do you think is gonna happen? Where do you think you might go, or where would you want to go? Yeah. Just give me a, give me the last couple minutes wrapping up here. To tell people, what's the next part of your journey? 
Well, like I said, I, I would like to play in Spain, Spain again. Right. Um, really nice country. I, I liked it there. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having a career in that, in that area of the world. And um, right now I'm just waiting on the, uh, the best offer. You know, I don't want to just go with anything. Every decision I've made has been to, you know, further, uh, further my career. Right. So uh, it's, it's on a real good path right now, so I want to keep it that way. So uh, just waiting on the, on the best deal for me, what I think it is. And then also cause, because, you know, I'm, I'm married now. I have a wife. I have to think about her as well. And um, well, That's a, big, that's a yeah. big thing to think about. Yeah, I know. Because so. let me just tell you something. Happy wife. Happy yeah, life. That's what I hear. Trust me. <laughs> Forty-one years. That's what Lord I hear. have mercy. Yeah. So if I've learned one thing, I keep my wife happy. Yeah. Make sure you keep her happy. For sure. All I'm right. working on it. I hear you. And uh, just uh, yeah, that that's that's a big part of it as well. And um, I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know that um, whatever whatever offers I get, I'll I'll try to make the best decision. And like I said, just keep on trying to get further in my career. Get ready, get ready to wrap it up here. I just want everybody to understand this real quick, and not because you're sitting here, Kevin. But I've coached 41 years of college basketball. This guy right here, this guy right here is the real deal. This guy's a man. This guy never, ever was a problem. Uh, some people talk about low maintenance. Kevin Jones wasn't low maintenance. Kevin Jones was no maintenance. No maintenance, this guy right here. And I want to tell you something. I have great respect for him because besides doing things the right way, being a gentleman off the floor, he also had a way about him of getting better every year and working extremely hard. He's one of the most dedicated players I've coached at 41 years. He's always in the gym. He comes back in the summertime. And he has an unbelievable routine that he stays with all the time. And it's all paid off for you. Yeah. I, can't, I just can't thank you enough for what you've done for the Mountaineer program, what you've done for this basketball program, what you've done as a person. I got great props for you, dog. Right, I appreciate it. Great props for hey, you, man. All right, before we go, yeah. one time, I don't know, I don't know if you remember the story, but this is one story that go like, ahead. Yeah. I don't forget. This, this is about you. Go. When I, no, it's not. It's not nothing bad. But uh, when, um, when I was in high school, I want to say this was my junior year, going into my senior year in high school. Go. I was in a basketball tournament, and. Um, I want to say, was it Providence? I want to say it was Providence. It was like a hoop jam tournament right, in Providence. Right, right, you right, was right, there. Right, right, right. You right, were there. You right. came up to me. You said, listen, I'm about to get a coaching job at, at the school. You didn't tell me what school it was. You said, I'm about to get a coaching job at the school. I'm going to come after you. Like, remember, remember my name. It's a jam I was like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, you came up to me and said, yeah, I'm going to come after you. And I, and I always stuck in my head. So, actually, when West Virginia came and, um, you know, was recruiting me, and you you were a part of it. Oh, that boy. always stuck out in my head, man. So I always, I, I appreciate everything you did for me yeah. while, while KJ, you were here and I was here. So I appreciate it's that. It's amazing how everything works out. Yeah. Crazy. And it's amazing how things work out for good people. Yeah. I mean, and I have nothing but greatest respect and everything for you. But again, appreciate I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Uh, thank you very much for coming out. Uh, hopefully... Next Wednesday night, the weather will clear up a little bit. It won't be bad like it was tonight. Uh, we've got a few more Wednesday night shows. I'm going to continue to do this uh, throughout the season, all the way through the NCAA tournament. I really enjoy it. I want to thank the Green Turtle and the staff at the Green Turtle for taking care of us and giving us this venue to do our show. And I also want to thank the Dominion Post uh, who's been unbelievable in advertising this show with the newspapers, on the radio, the whole thing. And you can catch this show tomorrow on DominionPost.com, DominionPost.com, and they usually put this show up about, what time? Two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon? Know, definitely, before definitely before five o'clock. So if you want to see the broadcast of it, you want to get a big smile on your face? <laughs> you, and, you and Brittany can lay in bed and watch it together. Right, gotcha. 
Hey, thanks, brother. Right, thank Love you, you man. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.